Okay, so play E4. I really like playing E4. Hey, good. You know why? Because it's the best opening. <laughs> it's the best opening. But furthermore, it, it's it's open chess. It's tactical chess. Because D4 is a bit more for old men and, and, and like these boring uh, players, yeah, you know? Good, good. So D4 is... Okay, really best move in position. Okay. In six. First two moves. Um, what you first should know about chess is you want to uh, control the center, develop your pieces, and mm. castle. Those are the three golden rules in chess. And I've seen you doing it kind of regularly in your games. Yes. So that's very good. Uh, the main move is is mostly knight c6. I course. like that move. Uh, you <laughs> like knight c6? Yeah. Scotch, right? Pardon? You play the scotch? Like I don't, D4 I don't or play, I don't, I don't play... I don't play d4, I play bishop to c4, or sometimes c5, but I prefer the, I prefer the Italian. Ah, uh, because you, you play knight g5, right? I like, I like, yeah, I like this, and I like, um, if the person knows, like, some opening prep, when they go for, like, the, I don't know what it's called, but, um, d5, pawn takes, and then knight to b5, I sort of know some theory here. Yeah, this is this is. Uh, I actually like. I used to play this as white, but then okay. I liked it for black because you get so much activity. But uh, first thing I want to say, like on on, and not to be uh, arrogant or something, but on uh, your uh, level of chess, opening moves and preparation and lines are not that important. Yeah, no, no it's I, more. I don't know much. <laughs> okay, very good. You don't need so much to be to to be nice. Let's say you need yeah. to know patterns and, and pins and and elimination of defenders and checkmates, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So I don't want to talk to you about openings that much. I'd rather talk about just expects that on taking control of the center, which you do kind of nicely with bishop c4. You can also play d4 right away. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. But what d6 basically does is that it blocks in this bishop on f8. Yeah. So it only can go e7 while your bishop is out on c4. So if you play d6, then you're always on the passive side because white is just attacking and he can get the center. Mm. Furthermore, it means that if you have like, we'll see later. If you, uh, wait, bishop g4, okay, knight c3. I, I'm, so he played I, d6. I, okay, go on. No, no, you can tell, you can say I something. I was going to say, I'm, I'm never sure exactly when I should be concerned about this bishop pin on the queen and when I shouldn't. So sometimes I play um, h3 like very mm -hmm. early and then they it's just... It's a prophylactic thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Like afterwards, like as soon as this bishop comes, I'll like reactively throw the... Yeah, I, I see you move play h3 on yeah, the sixth move. Get, yeah, I get, I get scared. Uh-huh. <laughs> So There's no need to be scared. This is an annoying bishop. I I, I know, um, but it, it's it's handable. <laughs> mm. Funny thing, I want to show you because he played c6. Mm. If he played, for example, a6, there's this. Oh, I know this one. Very... I know this one. You play yeah. knight to e5, and then if bishop takes queen, you have bishop to f whatever it is, and knight to e5 checkmate. Yeah. I, yeah, that, I, that's what I was. That was what I was trying to go for here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Um, because okay, uh, knight c3 is a normal developing move, so you have a trick at least. But okay, c6 stops it. Mm. Um, d4, knight d7. Okay, a3. Agreed. Takes. Takes. Okay, I want you to take a look at this position. Okay, you take of course because the queen is hanging and the pawn is hanging. And I want you to tell me what you see. What do you okay. see in this position? Um, I can say that Black's bishop, that dark square bishop, is really weak because it's not mm -hmm. going to get out anytime soon. Maybe yep. I can push that d pawn forward to block it in. But yeah, there's a lot of attack okay. defenders on the d5 square. My bishop is mm -hmm. already sort of open. There's a lot of squares that it's already doing stuff without having to move it. I probably don't even have mm -hmm. to move that. And I... nah, so your bishop is basically yeah. ideally placed, yeah. Yeah. I, both bishops but in more... a way. Yeah, this one can easily jump to e3 and, and be awesome in its own right. Okay. Um, but I want to talk to you about, like, you have the bishop pair. Okay. 
because he traded his bishop for his knight. And usually bishops are better than knights. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you know the, the value of peace, like bonus one, knight is three, bishop is three. Yeah. But in some positions, um, the bishop is twice as good as the knight. Yeah, I prefer the bishop uh, because it can control more squares than the knight can, right? Right. The knight's only got... Especially in endings. The, yeah. uh, the, the bishop can control both diagonals when the knight has to go like one, two, three to get to the other yeah, side of the board. Yeah. Okay, so bishop likes uh, open files, right? Op open spaces, so not many pawns. Yeah. So you trade, which is, I would say, a good thing. But again, take a look. You have two pawns in the center, mm. and black only has one. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Black only has one. I so understand. You trade, and then luckily he takes with a knight, because now you still have the space advantage. Just like map control on AOM, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like you have more space, so you want to keep pieces on the board. Okay. Um, but again, you have like two central pawns, so if you take this one, and if he takes this one, then the pawn structure is completely equal, and this bishop is a monster on c5 just like your one is on c4 yeah, yeah. So uh, you kind of give the opponent the opportunity to yeah get rid of his crappy bishop <laughs> and to <laughs> control take control in the center yeah in hindsight i think um i might have played i might have played d5 here if i thought about it for longer i don't know how long i played yeah thought about it with d5 is a reasonable move um what you should know about bishops is that as you can tell, this bishop is a black square bishop, and these pawns are on black squares. So this bishop is kind of crappy. Yeah. But the bishop on c4, that was a monster, also becomes now a bit hmm, uh, less can, good. You can play c5, I guess, right? You can play c5, really maybe. Much I can do. Okay, but that gives you the bishop this diagonal, but it's not so special, because it yeah. only hits, like, knight, and you can just move like this and this. Exactly, yeah. So I think you shouldn't move the pawn at all. You should just play bishop e3 and be happy with your bishops and with the control of the center. And then you, let's say he plays bishop e7, and then you castle queenside, rook in place, and you just go on, for example, maybe f4 to put more pressure. Okay. You don't want to be the side to take too soon, because what I always say is take is a mistake. Um, and yeah, now black has some serious problems. You can maybe push with g4, g5, or just place a rook on f1 and hit this f7. Yeah, okay. Maybe in long time, right? Because black doesn't have any real play. That's the problem in his position. There's nothing, there's no plan for black here. So white is the one attacking, and that's because he has control of the center, and he has because the bishop pair. But you take this pawn, and let's see what happens. Okay, he plays knight takes, but if he plays like d takes, um, if we go like the same plan, like this, now the bishop can go all the way out to b4, mm. and it's a bit annoying because king is still in the center. And this is the same pin on g4 as on the queen yeah, on g d1. But yeah, this pin's this, uh, pin, this pin's more annoying though. Yeah, I'm way annoying. Yeah. yeah, so you don't want to play a three because it's it's the last of move, and bishop can come here, and now you cannot put your bishop here because you really don't want to be doing this because then you have isolated pawns, which yeah. is double we pawns, like super those. ugly. <laughs> nope, you don't like those for sure not. <laughs> so yeah, now your bishop doesn't have any real squares. Okay, you can go to g five, but then maybe the pawn can hit it, and you have to maybe retreat. But yeah. now he can hit it again, ugly. and this bishop is completely boxed in. Uh, so this is actually super fine for black. You can either just try to get rid of the bishop immediately, because you don't want to be going to h2. That's just just uh, yeah useless, and knight can come to f4, for example. Yeah. This position is so different than the one we have here, because now he took with the knight. And you go to b3, which is very good, because you keep on a diagonal. But this pawn can never get to d5, because you have so many controls over it, and you can just put the bishop on e3, Put a pawn on f4, castle queenside, and there's nothing that black can do. So basically, this game was decided. Uh, okay, not here because it's still like a lot of plays play left, and it's equal. Um, but in long term, white's already much better. Okay, castle uh, kingside also very spoken, very good. 
Okay, D5. Now the game is really over. At least from uh, from my uh, point of view, let's say. Because, okay, you could have taken right away, but building up pressure. And yeah, now D5 leads to this position in which these bishops are just monsters. Yeah. They control every thing. Um, plus you're a pawn up and the knight has no stable outpost. For example, if this pawn was on maybe c4, he would have had an outpost. And outpost means that a pawn cannot attack a knight. And that's usually where the knight is at his best. Then he can compete with the bishop. But if he doesn't have a strong square, then the bishop is most of the time better. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So um, he should have played, or should have played, maybe the best move was just um, knight f7 controlling b6 and c5 to keep this bishop on e3 in check. Still, of course, you're better because you have like the center, nice center. You have a nice open d file. But black only has one weakness, and that is this d6 pawn. And as long as you have one weakness, you can defend it. Um, okay. How do you, you put a rook on d8? Identify weakness in a in a position. I think that's something I struggle with. I, 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 most of the time when I play, I'm just looking for good squares for my pieces and I find it hard to figure out what I should what be I taking advantage of, I guess. Yeah, okay. But this pawn is a pawn on an open file. So you want to have a rook there because a rook is best on an open file because yeah. it has lots of space. Um, if this pawn was on c7, it wouldn't have been weak, the pawn on d6, because it's protected. Okay. So all okay, the pawns that can protect each other are necessarily not weak. This one is also kind of weak on e4. Because black can put a rook here and put some pressure. The knight is a good defender, but if the bishop comes to f6, he can try to eliminate it. That's why f4 maybe wasn't the best move, but I just wanted to show you that you have the center. Yeah, okay. So, um, let me get rid of all the arrows because that might be a bit confusing. Uh, yeah. So D6 is in this position of weakness, just as E4 is. But D6 is, yeah, it looks ri more ridiculous because the bishop is here. And this pawn is kind of well protected by the knight, and you can just put a rook on E1. But besides, this is a central pawn, so it's always better than a pawn on D6. Mm. Look, if these pawns were not here, then the position would be equal, because then there would be no weaknesses. See that? If, yeah, we, if we just yeah. imagine this pawn gone, gone, then there's not a single weakness. Okay, the b6 yeah, square yeah. is weakness, because it cannot be protected by pawns, but there's not much really you can do on the b6 square. Okay, you can attack this guy and this, but that's not much, let's say. Mm. So um, I would just play this and rook e8, and now we just have a normal game in which... Mm, it can last long till you win. I'm not sure what I would do. I think I would just apply pressure um, on d6 or keep my let my king enjoy the game. Because in the end game, you want to have your king as close. Still a lot of peace on the board, but it's kind of safe behind its pawns. And you're just going to walk to f3 to protect this guy. Yeah, right. I've never. I would. I would never play that. <laughs> I would. I, I would keep my. If anything, I would put my my king <laughs> on like h h one or h two. <laughs> yeah, that's when the queens are on. And and um, I know it sounds a bit scary to 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 go into the center. Um, but yeah, in such a case, it might be good. Okay, there's there's an annoying check on h four, which I didn't see. Um, but maybe it's an idea for you to more to activate your king when the queens are off because then it's okay. much safer for the king to enjoy the game um last thing i want to talk to you about in this game um let's say we play a couple moves um okay we cannot take on uh, c3 but if we let's say we do this would you in this position play bishop d4 yes or no um probably i don't know what i would play but i think the things that i'm a little bit worried about are um that my 
my knight's protected by a pawn, which if I took there, it would be like a double pawn on the C file, which might be a little bit crappy for the end game. But, mm -hmm. So I might look to play something more like D, uh, rook to D3, but I don't think I would play... Um, unless there's no way to protect the d6 pawn, in which case trading for that space there for the rook wouldn't be a bad idea. Because then you can apply the pressure. Uh, there. Like if you if you play if you did play bishop to, I can't even do ah, bishop to d4 takes 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 then rook on the rook on d4 looks nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, but remember about earlier in the game. He gave you the bishop pair, right? Mm. Bishop pair is kind of good when it's a pair, but on their own, um, it's not just that good anymore. And black can have all those squares hitting the bishop, and you don't want to take away from the center, so you have to move your bishop, I guess. All in case that d6 is not hanging, because eh? now you would just take on d6 here. Mm -hmm. um, but still, this is... Okay, better for white, but not so much better. There's a tactical thing in this position that you might want to... Oh, there's the... There's the well, yeah, you've got the, that pawn on d6 is pinned to the knight. Yeah. Oh, you what can, can you play, do? You can just play e5. Yep. And your rooks are awesome in the center. This one is doing nothing. Um, so it's time to open up the position, and e5 is a nice way to do it. Okay, you... Of course, you can just always take on d6 right away now because the bishop yeah. f6. That is the pr that is the problem why d6 is such a crappy pawn when it's protected by a bishop because it always has to protect it and it cannot go to an active diagonal. And yeah. notice that the pawn on e4 is hanging, so he cannot take because the knight on d7 is hanging. So he has to play this first, and then you can play e5. And what if he goes here? Uh, G what do you G3 do now? And c3 are hanging. That's and tough. more importantly, <laughs> oh, the rook's hanging. <laughs> oh, that rook's hanging. It's triple attack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, the knights. The knights hanging on G something or other. Right. That's the one. Good. I found Six. it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Very good. Because this bishop is this. Yeah. Yeah. Monster. The pawn is pinned. Yeah. The monster. Exactly. Um, so I think, okay, I, I can, I can basically in, in, uh, if we keep an OM terms, you would just resign probably here as, as black. <laughs> uh, it's just the same. You would just resign here. Okay. Online chess, you play on cause you always have a chance at some mouse slip or whatever, but yeah, you would just resign. Uh, you play this very nicely. Bishop d2, I like really a lot of bishop d2, because you can always also take here. But then you have opposite colored bishops, and they are tending to draw. If you if black can switch off the rooks, then you can have a draw. And note that there's no mate, because the bishop covers the square. Mm. And this rook is active, so there's no need to give the bishop bishop pair in this position. So bishop d4, bishop d2 is a good move. Rook e7, and yeah, now you just apply pressure to the defender of c5. So basically, this game was, for the first game I saw, was kind of good. Um, Sometimes I play well. And yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was a good checkmate. <laughs> that is a nice checkmate, yeah. Really cute. I, yeah, nice. So, first impression was uh, good, but your opponent made it also easy for you, and that's, um, it works like, Two ways, let's say you mm -hmm. make it difficult for him, but um, yeah, if he took here with a pawn, it would be a completely different game. And I hope that's the lesson for you because you can also learn from your opponent's mistakes. That if, for example, you're black, then you would al always take with a pawn, even though a knight on e5 might look nice, it's only temporary. Mm -hmm. And if you fix your pawn here, it's forever the same structure, and you have a nice bishop and it's open. So, so what did we say we should have done there? We were trying to maybe go yeah. bishop, bishop to yeah. e3 so, and then castle queen. Bishop to e3. Just maintain tension. And if he captures, it's not a problem at all. You can just capture and you yeah, have a, a really nice... 
spaceship, it's a monster, and it's a monster. And then what's and okay, okay, you can try to oh. block it. A oh, C five. Okay, if I see C five, I see. Okay, if I see C five, then I know that this is a strong square for me because uh -huh. it's a weak square for black because he cannot protect it with a pawn, and I've defended this with my own pawn. So he made a weakness only to attack my bishop, um, which I can just retreat. Or I can take on f6, but I would never take on f6 because I just love my bishop. So I would always play it to e3 and reroute it to f4 to apply pressure on the weak guy. Right. And then knight on, so, and then knight on, um, knight on d5 uh, would have been really strong. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, no, because you want to, if, if you have a strong square, first what you want to have there is a knight mm. and a bishop and then a rook and later the queen. Because the queen can easily be attacked by some piece like a rook or a lower in value of a knight or a bishop, for example. But oh, the yeah, knight is, sense. yeah. So the knight on on this square just attacks everything. Yeah, it's like an octopus. Uh, so it's it's awesome to have a knight on d5. Besides, uh, if the knight's on d5, this bishop is so crappy because the pawn can never move forward, so the bishop is always blocked in. So. That's why I would never consider a move like c5 um, as black, because it just creates a weakness. And you always have to be careful with moving your pawns. For example, um, let's say black castles queenside, and you want to... Oh, no, no, wait. We're going to castle... Hmm, how do I make this? Um, if you want to place g4 or no, that's what I meant as a... Mm example but careful with pawns moving if you play g4 then you make this a weak square so it's like you give black some opportunities for example if he gets a setup with this this and this and he can enjoy the knight on g4 you wish you could take the pawn back to g3 or g2 Yeah. That, Am I going too fast? That, 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 no, no, no. That looks that looks brutal. I, I I don't I don't tend to move. Well, sometimes I sometimes I go crazy just for the sake of it in like a <laughs> bullet game. But if I if I'm playing serious chess, I tend not to move those kingside pawns, um, unless I see something really good with them. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's good. But if you what I meant is that you should always play f4 before g4 oh okay just not to, to, to cover the, the just the g the the weakness exactly. okay i see i see i see so the right order would be f4 and maybe only then g4 but not in this position because first you want a castle yeah because okay. you want your king out of the center and then you can push g4 rook and then g5 h4 yeah. h5 strong but it's not the way i would want this position to be played because i don't think there's a need for a king uh, attack on the king. I would just enjoy my bishops and just put all the pieces in the correct way. So rook on d1, apply pressure on d6, and f4 just to have the center and to yeah not allow his knights to do anything crazy. And I would just put my rooks here and then yeah try to set up a trick or I put my all the pieces correct first before you go on the attacking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okay, so this was this was kind of it was a good game actually. Uh, you didn't make no mistakes. Okay, black made a huge blunder. Um, yeah, well, but it was a good game. Easy to play when there's, when you see the, spot the blunders. <laughs> yeah, but okay, you spotted the blunder because it was d5 and, and you saw that you could take it, right? Yeah. Uh, and let us go to the I next have, one. I have a guy in the chat asking, "What's your real rating?" Ah. <laughs> My real rating? Yeah. 2300 in in uh, feeder rating. That's. Oh, my F 2500. Blitz, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. It's not real. Blitz, Blitz, chess. Blitz chess isn't real chess. That isn't real chess? <laughs> jokes, Blitz jokes. chess isn't all. Jokes, jokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another E4, E5. The same opening, actually. Uh, everyone's uh, playing this shit. <laughs> Really? In this rating, yeah, this is a uh, this is very common. I was finding. Okay, but, on this. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you, what you, 
like is to have this, right? This, yep. this, 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 and then this. Well, yeah, that's that's one thing. Mm hmm. Why don't you do it? Yeah. Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> what did I do instead? Because you cannot. Uh, you played the uh, ninety three. Ah. Um. His pawn on f7 is just super weak. It cannot be defended on the beginning. I don't so know why. I, I don't know why I didn't play that. Okay, maybe it's not as good because he can play d5. Um, but there are some crazy lines same, like same. this. This. It's not actually the same. Um, but there are some disgusting lines with like this, this, and then queen here. Back. And king to e6, right? Yeah, king e6, knight c3. Yeah, and, and this that, is just that knight's not there. He can't. Oh, yeah, but he does have that. Uh, yeah. Okay, but the problem you just castle, you yeah. just take it easy, and you enjoy this king in the center, which is like so locking everything in, yeah, out of so misplaced, and you could just. It's it's um I'm not sure if this is a line, but I know for a fact that the other one is a line. Um in this position when yeah, like D five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This 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 is a line. That this I know. But the idea is the same, only black is worse because the knight is on B eight. So if this is a line, then for sure this is a line. Yeah, I think there's some some line that if black knows it, it can get out of that position, but it's pretty but it's, pretty pretty you pretty computer pretty, pretty computery. Huh? The difference is that you can play knight e7 after knight c3. Uh, uh, so yeah. if you play the knight c6, and now this knight is just defending this one. But in this line, it's on b8. Mm -mm. Totally different Can't story. Be, yeah. uh, so this blocks even more your, your pieces. And, and and I think this is very good for white. Because you put a bishop, rook on e1, like and on the second, and... and d4, and, and bishop is coming out. So uh, this I would think this is pretty good. But okay, it's like I said, I'm not gonna talk too much about opening lines with you. I don't. Uh, it's it, knight c5 is an option, but um, I, I, yeah, I'm kind of glad that you played knight c3 here. <laughs> we have a real game because it gives us more to talk about. Okay, I saw this one on your stream actually, um, and and I think you said that if he takes on d4, you take on d4, he takes on d4, you take on d4, um, then you thought you would have a good position, or no? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind it. I guess. No, of course not, because otherwise you wouldn't play d4 in the first place, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you said, okay, maybe if you play some other random move like bishop g4, then no, uh, uh, you should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and he played bishop g4, and it's the best move in the position, because if you take a look at e takes d4, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, queen takes d4. What does this have achieved for Black? Um, no, nothing. He's lost his development. Exactly. And and you have a real nice queen here. It cannot be attacked by this knight because it is gone. Uh, Bishop didn't, it's not developed. This one is not developed. And you have like all the nice central things. So to take is a mistake. You should never be the first one to take because you only activate your opponent's pieces. Yeah. Unless they have to move backwards. But if you want to take something in the center, very carefully think twice because you move just, yeah, it's super active queen here and it cannot be attacked. And like for a move with c5, it can be attacked. But again, it makes d5 super strong square, which you can never play anymore. So, bishop g4, good move. And um, d takes c5. Yeah, I'm scared. I, I think I think there I'm just scared because that um D pawn's not this thing is annoying. Yeah. And that's this is why bishop g4 is a very good move. But um you can also maybe play okay, d takes c5 is kind of normal. Yeah. Um but knight takes c5, again, the started in the same in the previous game, it's knight on e5, and the pawn remains on d6, and your pawn remains on e4. So I really like bishop e2, even though it feels as a loss to play it back. It's just, um, how could I say it? It's like you give up temporary something for the consistent, for the, yeah. 
Yeah, okay. You always have a better situation here, pawn-wise. It doesn't matter that you have to retreat one piece for a while. And now you're unpinned, so you can take on e5, maybe. And this is what he... Yeah, he played bishop takes f3. And yeah, to take is a mistake. And this is now it's funny, because you took bishop takes. Mm. But really, I would G always takes. play g takes. Because... But it doubles the board. Error <laughs> And oh, it yes, my but bishop in. <laughs> it does, because you're going to play f4. <laughs> this bishop is going to go to e3 anyway, okay. and then to d4 maybe. And queen is going to d2, you're going to long castle, and you're going to put maximum pressure, pressure on the g-file. Uh, Those knights? To castle queen side. <laughs> <laughs> if, you have, if you play like this, this, this cut, like when there's a d4, d4 pawn exchange for the e5 pawn, then castling queenside is okay. kind of good because you okay. immediately have your rook activated on the d file uh, yeah that makes sense makes sense huh mm. <laughs> and, and and what i wanted to say is that uh okay. this knight on e5 looks kind of strong but if you push it away with f4 then it has to go to c6 or g6 but again a knight on the sixth rank is not that good because it doesn't attack anything yeah. and and you can just the knights in check with your central pawns more space um and you just yeah, you're on the attacking side here. Not that bishop takes a free is a mistake, of course not. But it's just like, it's funny that, uh, yeah, you're afraid of doubling your pawns, but sometimes it's kind of good to double your pawns. Because a double yeah, pawn also means an offline. Yeah. yeah, exactly, it opens a file. So, and rook are best on open files. So, um, yeah, you have to castle queen side, yeah, <laughs> not I castle. Sh I don't even think I considered g takes f3 at all. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe it's something to consider in next games. Look, if you had castled here, if it was already castled, then yeah, you should never take yeah, yeah. e takes f. And you cannot walk out of the, the danger zone, let's say. You should always make your king safe. Bishop takes, and knight takes, queen takes, bishop e7. And again, we have this more space, but now there are less pieces on the board. So it's not that big of a deal because he traded off two pieces, which he did good. Queen g3, back in g7. Uh, I like it. Yeah, but what just... if he simply played uh, queen d7? Could you take? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a trick question. I take. <laughs> no, um, it's yes or no. <laughs> no you have to, you have to I have think, to think about it. <laughs> Can I. I know, you have to. Like, <laughs> yes. And then he has to protect the rook somehow. So he has to go rook to f f8, right? Is there any other way to protect the rook? Oh, he can castle actually. Yeah, castles one move. Rook f8 is another, and, and then castles, third one. Castles is the third one to protect the. Um. Is there a third one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can. Oh, you can play rook to g seven or g eight. I can't. I can't do g's and math. I know. I can't math. I can't math. <laughs> That's brutal. And then I only have h six to go to, right? Yep. Exactly. And now he just takes. And on g2. Life's bad for me. I don't like it. Life's bad for you. Yeah. I don't like it. No, you don't. Get me out. Okay, of course it's not lost because you can just castle queenside, yeah. um, where your king is relatively safe. But this rook is uh, such a monster in the second uh, diagonal, second yeah. rank. Um, so you don't want to have this from this position because it just got out of hand real quickly. <laughs> uh, another example I can show you: he could also have castled to protect the pawn. Do I not have a bishop to h6 now? Yeah, you do. But how can black? I mean, he plays pawn to g6, maybe. Oh, if he played this, because the pawn is pinned. Oh, he can't do that. Yeah, yeah, that's why he doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why you should do it. But if there's a knight on f6, oh, he... what can you do? He can play h5. Knight h5. h5. Queen d4, only move, because if you yeah, otherwise... Then the bishop go, dies, yeah. the bishop. <laughs> And then, oh, does he have a pawn move? No, because then I can take... I don't know. 
maybe I can flip the board for you to make it a bit easier. Okay, the knight is hanging, but if he takes the knight, He's then you can take the bishop. Yes. So basically, there is no threat here, so you can improve your position. And which piece can be improved? Rook. Rook is a good move, but I think there's a better move. Because uh, we talked about make, this. Maybe you could make the bishop on um, f f7. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because we talked about this d6 pawn that it blocks in the bishop, but this bishop is a monster. Hmm. So, and it attacks the knight, it threatens to take with check and make some isolated pawns. So, this position is okay for black. I'm not that it's better, because you can still take here, Yeah, I take here, look, and then you take the pawn. Lose a pawn. But again, if you take here, then there are only heavy queens on the or heavy pieces on the board like rooks and queens mm -hmm. there are pawns doubled um okay your king is a bit unsafe but you just play rookie eight you attack this guy you follow up with rookie six and queen f6 and this rook here and all is well in the world because these two guys they only really count as one pawn because okay. they're doubled and they cannot do shit so they basically count as one um so and and you can also see that if I if I ever add an engine, that it's not as bad as you would think. Maybe one move back. It's like plus a half, which is not a lot. Yeah, it's yeah, that's not relevant to to my level. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. No, no, no. Right. Um, so even though your pawn up, it's basically equal because these pawns they make up for a lot. So. Um, the queen on g3, bishop h6 trick is not a big as a uh, trick as it may seem. Because there's always this knight h5. Okay, he plays it first. Uh, and now g6. Yeah, this is a weakening because you weakened uh, you the these squares here. Square, like... Yeah. My plan. Very good. My plan. Awesome move. Awesome move. Awesome move. Okay, play c6 uh, to protect the knight from coming into d5 because that's where you want to land. Mm. Look, boy, what you did. You castled queenside. That's because yeah. I prevented him from... Well, the square's open. The line's open, isn't it? Hey, there you go. <laughs> Maybe you I go. do go queenside yeah. sometimes. You do go queenside. <laughs> Queen v6 doesn't do anything. Okay, now the, important, the, the interesting part starts. Oh, it was already interesting, but now the more... Attacking uh, tactical chess starts. This pawn on d6 is pinned. Yeah. Because if your queen hits d7, it's checkmate. So you could go, if you saw that, for feisty e5. When his mm -hmm. king is in the center and your king is out the center, so on either b1, c1, g1, at least safe, then you want to open up the files because you want to bring your rooks into play. And to create as many threats that he either has to give up material or he goes checkmate. So that's what you want to be doing when his king is in the center and he cannot get out because he cannot castle this way, he cannot castle this way because your queen prevents it. So e5 was a monstrous move and yeah, he cannot take it and you threat, you are threatening to capture. So he has to play d5, trying to close the position. But now another great move could have been played making f making use of it that this pawn is pinned. I think you can read my screen, but uh, I'm not, I'm not looking at it. Um, okay, good. Because I can also put it in training, but that's a I'm like just a literally kick. not because I can see anything that's amazing from it, but um, <laughs> the move that makes somewhat sense would be a knight to e4, not because I see anything, but just because you can't take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's it's like uh, you protect put on f2 which is the least important part but the knight is such a monster in the center it can uh, control this weak square it controls this weak square um and the only defender of this king is this bishop and you want to open up files so you want to have removed this guy and this guy the pawn on e5 and the bishop on e7 and the way to do that is to get a knight to d6 right so even if it costs you a pawn it's all worth it because you can just attack the king and there's no way this is brutal even if you're on down you're like two rooks up yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Okay, the follow-up is a bit... Uh, I, I, I saw it... Um, yeah, queen f3 attacks f7. But I think also bishop g5 is fine. Just just check uh, the king and then put the, put the rook in on e7. But I just want to play it very good because, yeah, I want to press you. Um, but f7, you cannot defend it really good because if you go queen f6, what do you do now? Uh, you've got the pin, but does it matter? Yeah, the, the bishop to g5. Yeah, bishop to g5 is equally good as bishop g7. Uh, it wins the piece. Oh, that, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, bishop g, g7 is also fine. Yeah. Text too. So the idea is good. But again, you make like you win games with just these pins or the elimination of defender. But it starts with the basic. If a king is in the center, open it. Um, and and okay, e5 is too, is of course not a easy move to see. But if you see that recognize that this guy's pinned, then hey, maybe I can make advantage of it. And you can see that the king is in the center. So I want to open up files. And if the pawn is still pinned, hey, maybe I can jump my knight forward and go towards the king. So um, those basic things are patterns are really important to see. Mm. Um, what happened? Okay, play that four. Also a good move. Bishop f8. Yeah, and you see that it takes a lot of time for him to. Uh, okay, he blunders d6, by the way. Ah, yeah, this was, this was, you went crazy about the engine's move, knight d5, right? What a move! What? what a move! Which one? What did I do? Oh, it, wasn't, it wasn't your stream, I saw, and then you you, oh. you analyzed it with the engine, and, and you saw knight d5. What a move is this? <laughs> is the pawn is pinned, and you attack the queen. Yeah. Um, and, okay, it's important that you prevent a check here. But let's say he goes queen a5. What is the function of, of knight d5? What could you do in this position? Because if you have to retreat or take the rook, then it's not worth it. Uh, but what is the function of the knight? It's... <clears throat> no idea. Actually, I mean, it's blocking in the king from escaping. So any, any check here very good. would be very strong. So you can go... Very good. Rook e6. Yeah, awesome. Rook e6. And then the knight if, creates. If he takes, then it's mate. And if he doesn't yep. take, he goes. What's the follow up here? Um... Note that you have a yeah, discovered I can see uh, the discovery, but he's. Is it just. It's not so easy to find a very good one. Yeah, no. I don't know what the good one is. There's, there's anyone <laughs> seems decent that's not like next to the king. So e, <laughs> e5 or e6. I guess e5 prevents him from going back. And uh, yeah, but okay, but this would be. Oh, but then you can, made, go, to, you can go, go forward. So maybe you do have to go forward, or you can move maybe a better. There's a better move. Because he can also maybe block your queen. Oh, the pawn. Ooh, f5, yeah. This is nasty. Uh, okay. I don't like that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you have to go to f6. f6 is good enough. Because um, then he has to go back. Come back and... uh, oh, we're still sort of in the same and... position we're in beforehand. Yeah, now we can just go back to e6 and have a draw. <laughs> <laughs> No, you want to go to rook e7. Um, oh, I didn't even see that I was protected by the knight. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why the knight is such a monster. Because yeah. it has all the squares around the king. And okay, queen to, d, queen to d6. And yeah, I saw e5 and the silent move c3. And it's checkmate on the next couple moves. Wow. It was found by the engine, I, I, I have to admit. Yeah. I didn't find this on my own. But I would, I would never play this. Um, I would uh, simply... Simply, I wouldn't play rookie six. Okay, maybe we would play rookie six because it looks awesome. But queen g5 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is much better. It threatens queen e7 checkmate. <laughs> it threatens, threatens queen e5 checkmate. It threatens knight f6 discovered check to win the queen. And there's just nothing that black can do. That's wild. 
as well. There's so many threats against this king that, yeah, because your pieces are optimally placed and you only need like three pieces and his pieces are not coordinating and yours are. So knight on h5 is just a stupid piece and same as the queen. Um, so queen g5 just, yeah, totally wins the game. He can maybe play f6 if he takes and queen e5 is checkmate. And again, this pattern of two files and the king has nowhere to go, it's you know it's there, you know it exists, mm -hmm. but it's that's why it helps you find moves like queen g5. So chess is just all about patterns and uh, repetition and, and repetition of patterns. So that's why I have some puzzles for you, Boyd. Okay. Well, let's get ready. On. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can. Okay. The tests are, are for if you want to do them there for the the later maybe. But first maybe some. Easy one. Okay, I cannot. Okay, I just. Okay, so why to move? What do you see? I already made the arrows. Oh, <laughs> I see there's the a discovered attack on the queen, but also the queen has um, a check on the king if he needs to, but that's fine. You mean the black queen has a check? Okay, I mean, yeah, taking the rook. Yeah, you can. Take the the rook with check, so I can't be too crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I see defended by your queen. Yeah. Basically, you can do anything you want. You can go to any square and attack the queen with your rook. Well, you can go bishop f5. F5. Attacking same time the queen yeah. and the rook. Does it work though? Because you have to look for pieces on the same rank, the same diagonal, the same file. Because now black has a defense. Um, oh, he can. Oh, he can pin the bishop, queen to f8. Yeah. Uh, f8, oh, queen to f7. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. Okay, so that so... one doesn't work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I. The other one would be um, b7, bishop to b7. Yeah, but, yeah, and the closer you are to a piece, the less chance of getting something in between now, this, or is, is getting something. Is this even like that amazing? Like if, if bishop takes and then rook takes and then rook takes. Yeah, this, the queen is, is always better than, than okay. or not always, but the queen is most of the times it's better, especially since this have, king is you here. Have the F, you have F. Seven coming, hard to defend exactly. everything. Yeah. Well, protect everything more because if he plays, he has to protect the rook and the bishop. There are two ways to do that. You can either play rook b8 mm. or bishop c6, but you also pin the bishop, so then yeah, you can you take the pawn. And if he does this, what do you do now? Well, those pieces are kind of stuck to each other, right? In some way, so you mm -hmm. can stick them even more by playing C, uh, queen to c6. Yeah, queen c7. Oh, sorry, c7. And... Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now the rook cannot move because the bishop is hanging. So it's like you see those pieces that are mm, cannot be protected, and you eliminate this is elimination of the defender. Yeah. This is one simple. Oh, uh, now, now that, yeah, now that, okay, yeah, the, the bishop doesn't protect the, <laughs> doesn't protect the rook. Good. Uh, so, what was this? Uh -huh. I was bishop by five. No, bishop takes b7, then rook takes, and yeah, so the rook is five, the bishop is three, so it's eight, the queen is nine. Um, maybe in this particular position, um, white or black can still manage to hold a draw because he has this kind of blockade but yeah it's just like winning material it's this position is better for white than if you don't play bishop b7 that's my point i'm trying to make if you want if you have an option of winning the queen then i think you should always take it if it doesn't cost you too much material mm, okay okay i hope this works well next game Okay, second one. Oh. What do you see? 
<clears throat> well, there's a discovered pin on the coin, but it doesn't matter that much. But if you you have a check, you have an in-between move somewhere in here, right? So Rook takes on, on D8. D8. Looks okay. Because then if he takes with the queen, then you can take the rook with check and then take the queen with the pawn. Yeah, exactly. And he cannot take this because the queen is pinned. Yeah. Uh, and if he does this, then you take the queen. Yeah, yeah, easy as you like. Okay, this one is maybe a bit harder. Because of how instincts work. I'm assuming that knight to c5 is bad then. <laughs> why? Because you, cause you said that because of how instinct works. That's my first. Yeah, That's I mean, first. I mean, I mean, I mean, instinct, I mean, instinct for 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 uh, players who are new to the game and who are playing like for two or three years is just to move every piece to the king. So right. instinct would tells me knight g5 because it gets closer to the king. But yeah, you're right. Knight, C5, knight G5 doesn't do anything. So knight G5 attacks a rook and attacks a queen. Yeah. And note that yeah. rook E6 cannot be played because the knight also has this square. OK. Uh, this one is elimination of the defender. And there are many freaky. What do you see? Okay, um, rook takes knight on e6, rook takes e6, and then you have knight to g5. What you need to see is that they, they, these are on some fork, yeah, and yeah. if you have a fork, a knight always look for those. Okay, going good. Pin. Oh, move. um, rook takes e5, pawn to f4. Very good. Okay, oh, already rook up, but it's is... about the... Uh, oh, this is almost a smothered. The... <laughs> huh? This is almost a smothered, just... smothered mate. Ah, yeah, 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 after one some rook on h8, uh, <laughs> would be mate, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, obviously the pawn is pinned. Mm -hmm. So knight to f6 does something, but does it do enough? No, maybe pawn to f6. And then pawn four doesn't really do anything either. It's not good. Yeah, so this is exactly the, the thing that this puzzle shows you, let's say. So the bomb can move forward and then it's just nothing. Oh, I, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So you go knight takes uh, g7 and then pawn to uh, f6 and you just win. Very good, very good. Yeah. Okay, this one I kind of like. Oh. Why to move? Oh, that's cute. The um the rook's pinned, so I can play queen to d two to double yeah. attack on the rook, and now I win the rook. Yeah, nice, very good. Okay, another one. What I'm do you looking, play? I'm looking at checkmate. Mm -hmm. Should F, be uh, rook, rook f eight. <laughs> Rook f8, rook takes f8. Yeah, and then you can... Rook takes f8, Maybe king g7. Uh, is that... Maybe, is, oh, okay. you is... to show or... Pardon? You wanted me to put the move on the board, you said? Oh, no, I'm just thinking about it. See ah. if it even works. Okay. Or maybe it's easier if you if you see the position, then, then going... Like rook f8, rook takes f8, rook takes f8, Check. and now and queen G, out, king g7. I don't actually have a follow-up. I take it all back. This is awful. 
<laughs> that awful. I mean, there are still pieces on, on one row, let's say, and you can make advantage of that. Oh, I have a check on um, F, F7 to win the queen. To win the queen, yeah. Yeah, but is it the best you can get out of this position? That's the question. Because the, the, the king looks super trapped in the corner with the bishop and also this open file. So oh, maybe there's something better. It's just c3 with the queen. Queen c7. And then rook, uh, and then rook to f8, and then rook takes rook and mate. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Uh, say nope. Again, some in checkmate. My instinct is to just take the bishop with the queen. Yeah, that's correct, but with what piece? Um, it's kind of fighting important oh, is it <laughs> with the queen. queen. <laughs> yeah, because then you queen. defend the bishop. Well, I mean, the bishop would have been defended anyways. And then... True. Oh, and then what well, does black play? Well, basically, it doesn't matter because it's checkmate on the next move. But how do you make it more difficult for... Let's say he plays queen e7 to protect f7. And then you have uh, bishop c5. Bishop b5, yeah. Okay, this one. This was chaotic. What do I do? As white to move. Right? Yeah. Okay. So it's okay, but you have to. Um, oh, I see. I see. I see. I see, I see. So, the... oh, actually, yeah. So, so you have D two. You have rook D two because yeah. there's a check Very in good. between move. Yeah. There is. I guess what is um, like some chaotic place with all pieces but if you just look for pins or or, or pieces that are not defended or some basic stuff then it helps you make sense out of the chaos and you see a move like rook d2 which is a move you would never play in first sight right but only if you see that the queen is pinned you think oh, hey rook d2 is good because you can take with check on d8 mm. okay now a difficult pick This one's tougher because you can't just play... Oh, you can, actually. You can still play C1 with the rook. Mm -hmm. And if I take the queen? Then you have mate from uh, C8. Rook takes okay, C8. I got uh, like my queen with the bishop. Because what would happen if you would just uh, to take right away? Oh, you want to, you would, well, he just takes and life's hard. End up just being equal, right? You have yeah, to, you have to, you have like to... two rooks are sometimes better than a queen. Yeah, right. So you have to be a bit more smart. I was thinking if you want to remove one of the defenders, but I don't think it, does it work? Can you, can you play rook? B8? I can't see it. Oh, I see. B8. But okay, what was the purpose of this rook on the seventh rank? Stopping the king from getting out, I guess. Yeah, so if you move this guy, then I can take here. Yeah. And it's no longer checkmate if you play rook take C8. The rook B8, I like the idea, but it's... It doesn't work. Not quite right. It's not good. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good enough. <laughs> um... Oh, you want to? Do we? Do we? No, we can't pin the the bishop. We want to remove the bishop. Maybe no. We can't. Really. Early, you want to get your pieces more into shape that the bishop on c6 doesn't hit the rook and the queen, because he can. D4 doesn't change anything about the fact that the queen is pinned or that it's checkmate. You just don't have to move. You shouldn't move your pieces away from it. So if you just keep play, the rook on the seventh rank. B4? Ah, B4, uh, yeah. Uh, but what's the purpose of B4? What do you want with B4? I'm trying to move the... Oh, he can just... It uh, doesn't work. Never mind. Take it all back. There is no player. Because B5, the queen is no longer <laughs> pinned. No, no longer pinned, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah. 
Ja. Complicated. It's probably not. I mm -hmm. can't see it. It's kind of complicated. It's not an easy move to find. But you should just realize that D4 changes nothing, and all your pieces are well placed, except that this is an unfortunate placement of B7 and A4. The bishop oh. attacks these two. So I can just move the rook, like take A7 or something. Yeah, take A7, because it changes nothing, and it's still made after Queen A4, Rook C8. The pin is still there, and then the next move, you take on C6. Yeah, very good. Oh, okay. Now some elimination of the defender. Start off with a very simple one. Uh, bishop takes the knight on f6, and then the queen yeah. has h7 mate. Check. Yeah. Uh, pawn to c4, and then the bishop will be able to... That was on. my... <laughs> uh, my d3. <laughs> oh, He's have... tricky. Uh, no, you do not have rook to e3, do you? Rook to d3? d3 yeah, nine. okay, you're attacking two pieces. But how does like easily defend? Wait, you said, can, can black easily defend? Mm -hmm. Is that what you said? I think so. Yeah. Uh, well, bishop to have a c5. <laughs> Rude. But this one is a bit tricky. That's why I wanted to have this one in because I always I you also can, you can use the king B four. Yeah. The king. King to C four? Oh C four. Not B four. And then? Oh then there's the check on Ah, then I lose my rook. <laughs> no! Drat! <laughs> it's a draw. <laughs> Drat. Ah, what else do we have? Oh, we can just take the um the knight and do, do we win that end game? Good thing you asked, because you do win the end game. Because you just okay. Do you want an end game lesson? Because I didn't plan an end game lesson, but I think I we sort of know lesson. this one. You just um keep the king in front of the pawn, right? Yeah, very and good. And you just and go you to the opposite to side, the... opposite side of the king, or the no, same side as the king. No, so he goes side. here. Where do you go? I can't remember. I knew this. It's surely b5, right? Yeah, good. Because yeah. you want to have the opposition to outflank the king. Yeah, so if yeah. the king to b6, then you go the other way. Because you want to have these, if you're on one of these two squares, uh, one, two, three, then you always win. If the pawn is on, doesn't matter where the pawn is, yeah. then you always win. So you want to outflank the king. So here, here, and he goes, for example, here, and you take a position, yeah. then you go here, and then you go here. If he goes here, you just move, bring your pawn in, and now you waltz right on. Uh, but branches. this was about elimination of the defender, not about some pawn endings. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to revise that. <laughs> uh, okay. Now it is black to play. Well, the knight is the one that looks weak, so you can probably play um, and defend the checkmate that's incoming, uh, c6. c6. Oh, it's, okay. Oh, does it even, oh, it doesn't. There is also a knight hanging here. Yeah. I can just probably take here, right? And you cannot take with check. And if you take here, then the bishop can retreat to g2. Okay. Not so simple. <laughs> there are there are two correct answers, but one is better than the other. <laughs> oh. Well, bishop takes f3 looks okay as well. That's probably the not quite correct answer. It, it's one of the correct answers, because it wins a piece, because it's important that you don't take with a knight, because then queen takes b7 mm. is checkmate, but you mm. take a check, and you win a piece here. But there is a better answer, and it's elimination of the defender. You have to ask yourself, what is attacked? Well, easy, this knight. How is it defended? Oh, also easy, by this bishop. So maybe... C6 was the right idea, but not the right execution. <sighs> I 
I hate it. C6 is the right idea, but not... Um... Right idea to get rid of the bishop, I mean. I have to oh, think further. Oh, what is, is, there a, is there a checkmate here? Can I take with the queen? Uh, Can I take the bishop with the queen? Yeah, this good. is silly. This would never happen in my games. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it's possible, or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I'm just... I, I mean, it's about it's about the um, elimination of defender and that there is a nice nice checkmate. Checkmate yeah, with good. bishop and knight. That's good, yeah. So uh, bishop takes a free one point, and then uh, queen takes d5 two points. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found them both, just in the wrong order. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, elimination of the defender, oh. and then trapping someone's piece. This can happen in your game. Yeah, I like it. I like it. How do I get rid of that knight? Do I care? <laughs> Can you? <laughs> I just like, do I care? Like, is, do I not have... Oh, man, that doesn't work. Huh. I don't know. Nothing is jumping out at me. What if I look at the wall? <laughs> <laughs> at the ceiling. Let me look at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Think deep, really hard. Like, <laughs> take your, your thinking face. <laughs> Okay, so this pawn yeah. uh, protects e6, right? Yeah. Oh. Why is it important? Oh, I see. Bishop takes um, f7 and then knight to d6 wins the queen. I was <clears throat> actually, honestly, I was actually looking for how do I get that knight to check the king, but it didn't exist. Yeah, it didn't matter as much. <laughs> Yeah, we're checkmating the queen. Weakness, we're checkmating the queen. Check the queen, yeah, yeah, very good. <laughs> yeah, so this is an example of just trapping pieces who have like super few space. Uh, so if the spawn was on c6, it wouldn't work because the queen would go to b6, b6 or a5. But yeah, now now it works. And it's just one position that it works in, and probably you won't have it in your games. Well, I said that it would, but maybe not. But it's about the idea of trapping. A queen that has no yeah. space and elimination the defender because knight e6 is the first move i would look at to trap the queen but yeah there's uh, this f7 yeah. pawn so that's why in my order i would first think of knight e6 hey trap the queen yeah, but it can't because there's a pawn on f7 shoot uh, but hey let's get rid of it by bishop okay, takes f7 okay. I that's see. the thought process that i wanted <laughs> i see i see uh do we have okay uh this one is, move. this one is oh but it's dangerous no it's not because it's checked Very dangerous. Qu queen to queen to a8 and then knight to c7 oh nice because i i wrote difficult because this is you would i would assume that knight takes f7 is the first move that comes to your mind but yeah, very good. You lure the queen, the king into... Well, I, the first thing I actually saw was my my king can die. <laughs> yeah. So I have well, to not, take not necessarily, because so you could have queen oh, b1. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, it's... But, like, then, but then he has rook to c, whatever it is. Yeah, I, I guess... B1. Yeah, but okay, if I, fight, if I took the rook, then then queen... Yeah, it's still, here, it's still bad. Here. And then takes and I... Not pretty bad, and this, yeah. this wins for black. Okay, you ready for the test, Boyd? Oh, no. <laughs> No? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> how long do I take on it? How long do I have? <laughs> as long as you want. Okay. No stress. So it's black to move. Black and, to move. And, and it can just be... It can uh, be whatever. Okay, but so this is a pin on the rook, is my first thought. Yep. Bishop to F6, but I don't see beyond it. I haven't thought that far. <laughs> well, it's it's enough to think like bishop f6 because you win this rook and then you will think on from there how yeah. to convert it into a win but yeah very good bishop f6 because otherwise it would have been like checkmate with rook e8 or it would lose a queen mm. but yeah bishop f6 turns the tables around if i can just i cannot go next game it's a bit annoying for me okay 
and right to move, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I fl flip the board to which uh, side is to move. You can also try to solve it for both sides. <laughs> <laughs> be funny. Um... Oh, uh, queen to d1 looks very, very good. Nice. I'm kind of quickly. Good, because yeah, you have a pin and you protect the bishop. Because it's not so easy to find to yeah, find a move backwards. I was looking backwards. at uh, how do I, how do I take the queen? What is it, can I just take it? No, he's got a knight there. It doesn't work. <laughs> well, what can I do? It's pinned. <laughs> yeah. Knight's and then too far away. <laughs> moves back are the hardest to find. That's why I was. Well, impress is, impress is a big word, but remember you move bishop c4 to e2? It was a move difficult to find it because it was backwards. Oh. Okay, it helped that you're afraid of the pin on, on g4. Uh, so that's why you wanted to unpin it. But yeah, moves back are the hardest ones to find. But queen d1, very, very nice. Black to move. Oh, black to move. Flip. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Flip, I can't, I can't understand. It's too hard. Um... That looks good, but is it right? My first thought, but I don't know, is rook to d8. Because you have a checkmate coming behind the queen, so the queen can't actually move. Very good. Yeah, it's a pin against material and the king, because, yeah, and this is very nice. defended by the queen, so it's fine. Yeah, awesome. Very good. Doing super so far. We're going 10 out of 10. This is the, this is the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> How do you manage? Okay, so it's... So my queen can't move. But I can take the bishop with check and then take the rook. So rook takes g7, queen takes b2. With check as well. Check as well. Nice. Everything gets better. Everything gets better with check, huh? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this one, queen takes uh, f6, rook takes c5, or queen f6. Yeah. King, yeah. And Boyd. Again, again, speedy, speedy. I, I like the tactics. Um, okay, you have twenty seconds now. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I don't, I don't know. Time, it's harder. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but this looks better because I'm getting three pieces for the rook. Um, so rook takes bishop on e5. Rook takes. And then rook takes f6, and then rook takes c6. Awesome. And why doesn't rook takes f6 work? Because the bishop is pinned or no? No, because it's being defended by the bishop, the rook behind it. Yeah, very good. So, uh, you know that two pieces are mostly better than one rook? Yeah, yeah, so... yeah. S sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. You know, so enough of you sort of know. <laughs> I I wouldn't trade two pieces for a rook, but I might trade two pieces for a rook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know the thing that if you have a bishop on c4 and a knight on g5 and then black castles that you should never capture on f7 because rook takes, bishop takes, king takes. Yeah. See, and... see, see that's where I might take because I get a pawn as okay. well. <laughs> All in a row is six points, but a bishop and knight is, uh, that is a lot more worth, actually. So, ah. uh, those rookie mistakes, uh, okay, bishop c uh, I mean, it's tempting, but mm. it's just bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, black to move. Oh. I see nothing. Um... That's where the. What do I what, what what do I have? What can I do? Oh, there's a there's a fork. Uh, what is it called? A fork? No, is that right? Double attack. A double attack. <laughs> there's a queen to 
F6 looks looks nice enough. Yeah. Always look for pieces that are unprotected. Um, always look for the king because uh, the check is very demanding. Like it has to be taken care of. It cannot be, yeah, it's always certain, let's say. Um, and unprotected pieces. Because if you move any other move, like for example, uh, nah, H5, A5, which mm. seems okay because you attack the queen, um, then you're a pawn down and you can just protect the rook. And then you'll probably it's lose because you have nothing. Yeah. So always focus on your tactics. Now it's white to move. I'm losing. Oh no, I'm not. I've got a queen. Are you? I've got a queen. It's you great. Queen. I'm loving life. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much I'm loving life, but I'm. I'm let me just stay in this position for a while longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one right move, boy. Now you don't have two options. No. Only one. Only one. Um, but no stress. No stress just, uh... <laughs> There's almost a back, back, back rank threat, but it is not there. Yeah, but Can... it wouldn't be because he has a exactly, nice exactly. safe. Undefended pieces. There's two of them. Three of them. How do I hit? Three? How... I can do. Oh, there's two. The, the knight protects the back one. Okay. So I have... The beautiful move, queen to h, what's it called? h5. h5, yeah, very good. I like the pop process. Look for unprotected pieces and see how they well, come You told me about together. that one last time, and I thought that would be a... Yeah. I'm learning. Yeah. I'm back in school. Feels good. Very good. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> and one more. And then it's white to move. Oh. <clears throat> this one's tricky. I have to say that. Okay. Uh, bishops undefended. Queen cannot. I don't. I, that does remove that. Open that file up though. But does it matter? <laughs> That's always the question. <laughs> Queen can't get in anywhere. Oh, I have that move, which looks a little bit more spicy. Hitting that. And then what happens? So something. It... Uh, ah, no, that doesn't make sense either. What the fuck do I do? Um. Okay, you look. Uh, oh, first, you got it right. That... The, the bishop is unprotected. Yeah. And what else is kind queens, of weak queens, slash queens, open? Queens undefended. And that queens pawn, and the pawn not, on... uh, such easy. If this rook was on a8, then you would have had bishop yeah. e4, because then it's on one diagonal. But now it's not so easy. Okay, you can still take on e4. But that's a pawn. Um, we want something more, because we are material is yeah, kind of even. I'm trying to get my rook onto onto a protected square on the seventh rack to to get that thingy there, but I I don't see it. <laughs> The thingy, the, the, the thingy, this yeah, thingy, you mean? Things, yeah, those, the two <laughs> yeah, those pieces that, that are very, very important. Yeah, no, it's a good idea, but yeah, again, it's not so easy to get it, because, yeah, your rook is still not in the yeah, first rank, and if you play, like, rook d1 to open it, then, yeah, black can either play c3, or maybe even better, play e3. Um, mm -hmm. So, this is not good enough. This piece is also kind of vulnerable. It is. But I, the king... Is that works in some universe? Like a, a rook <laughs> sacrifice? No. no. Oh, spicy. <laughs> or just queen to f6 
to start the attack? Yeah, Queen F6 is the first move I would also look at. Because if he goes to G8, then else. it's made on... <laughs> Sorry? I was looking at everything else. Yeah, but that's like uh, you see you chaos. You see you don't see any mm, plan or any way to think. Let's say, and that's what the biggest problem is for uh, chess players of your level that they see a board full of pieces, but they don't see the connected things. Mm. And queen of six is a check, and it's diff if the yeah kind of dangerous check because if you go back then it's queen f8 checkmate because yeah. there is a yes, beautiful rook here yes, but yeah if he goes to h6 yeah then it's another story because yeah you can give a check here but then you have a repetition i don't want that oh i mean it's not you a don't bad want thing it. you want to win oh no um you can also go to f8 by the way uh yeah but then simple queen to g7 and everything's protected um and I think black might win because these pawns are super dangerous. So, so it's not good. You have. So what are you saying? You have. To, yeah, there's no, queen of six is. Uh, the bishop, oh, I see. I think. I think I see. It's the first move to it. play. Say it. Rook to d. One to remove the bishop, so then we can do this attack. A little bit easier because the bishop is defending the g5 square. Mm -hmm. But trying to move him. Does the bishop have to be moved? Because you can also play c3. Oh, that's or no? Right. no, I forgot. Never mind. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you only need to focus on the king and the bishop. Because yeah. if you have, if you can plant your queen at any. Where? Where would it be? Right now, I mean, I like I like f6 for the queen. Yeah, but what is checkmate? Because oh. this is just a check. There is a checkmate. If you want to queen um, the queen f, on any f, f8, f8 is checkmate. Yeah. So this is also a target. Not only pieces, but also squares could be a target. So f8 is a target, and d2 is a target. Ah, so I've got, I've got. Oh, I, I looked at that move first. Queen to fucking d8. First instinct is always the right one, boys. <laughs> it's just, often it's it's the first move that comes to mind, which is the best. Uh, you hit the bishop, and you hit f8, and there is no way that yeah, black can defend against it. So he loses the bishop because mate is much more important. Mm. Um, so in this chaotic situation, like if you want to have a queen on f8 as checkmate, but how do you get there via d8 and it goes with tempo because you hit the bishop? This was a tricky one, I have to admit. Uh. But yeah, first instinct, go for it. Uh, three more. Black oh, yeah. move. Pin on the knights. Nothing is undefended from white. I have. I need to remove the bishop then. Very good. But it's not so simple. <laughs> Actually, yes, it is. I can play. Oh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll play b5. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? I'll play b5. Very good. Yeah, it's nice. And bishop takes b5. And bishop takes um, d5. Yeah, you can take with the bishop or you can take with the queen. I think I would take with the queen because then it's with tempo. Because if you're material uh, down, you don't want to exchange queens. But okay, uh, potato, potato, oh, bishop yes, takes yes, b5, yes, also yes. wins. But yeah, b5 was the correct move. Yeah, because the knight is defended twice, it's attacked twice, so it means that it's unprotected if you attack it, if the yeah, defender is being chased away. And yeah, knight a5 looks like a logical move. But yeah, knights that, and bishops are... The, 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 yeah. yeah, it's not... Yeah. The pawn will come not in it. and, and replace its position. Correct. Oh, two more. Um, oh, this one's actually kind of cool. Uh, I saw it immediately. Rook, uh, rook to h8, and then queen takes rook. I mean, queen takes queen. First instinct. Um, mm, here is white to move. Is that good? The knight 
to knight to c4. Brilliant. Yeah, the knight was attacked by the rook, the defender with the bishop. And how do you eliminate the defender? Yeah. Knight c4, because it cannot go to a5, and the knight cannot protect the bishop. If this rook was on b8, there was still knight a8. But yeah, the pieces are a bit clumsy. Yeah. So well, I didn't, I didn't knight c4 wins. The, the next move okay. the knights could go. Yeah. Good. It was, uh, I think, okay, the, the queen d8 one was the most difficult, but then this one was the next most difficult, which you just based in uh, 10 seconds, maybe faster. Mm. So, awesome job, Boyd. Already Thank can tell you. you're getting better. That was very <laughs> helpful. Uh, now do you want to play a game with me? Oh, God, no. Let's do it. <laughs> this will be sure. funny. This will be funny. Yeah. Um, on chess.com. Okay. Let's see. We're friends, right? We can yeah, just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can... Okay. can... I'm going to stop watching here. Oh, I did not mean to leave the call. No, I didn't leave the call. Good, 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 good. Uh, uitdagen. Uh, block. You have a rating of plus 1400 against Boyd. Try to make a... Oh, oh I can give you some material? Wait, uh, what? I don't want the material. No, we're going, we're going, we're going for even games here. Even games. <laughs> 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes seems great. Uh, expel. Yeah. Okay. Where does this pop up? There. I think I Except just challenged. Yeah. 2,500? And I'm, I'm black! Okay. Now, this is actually my... my, my uh, in Blitz, I have uh, 2,500. Okay. okay, I don't want this. I, I want this. Are we playing this one? Yeah, I just moved to... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Developing. All right. Mm, I'll let scotch. Okay, because... well, let's do this. I... Do I take that? What I just told you, Boyd. Don't take. Don't take. Yeah. Take... Never take. Yeah, don't... But what do I do never instead? Do. <laughs> not never, not never. But... My, I can defend my knight, but that's bad because it's blocking my bishop. I can play bishop to c5. I can play pawn forward to start developing. What's good? If he takes my knight, then I get double pawns, but then I can hit the center harder. So that's fine. I don't want... Oh, I, uh, I'm going to play this first. Very good. Um... No, I hate it. Don't do that to me. Okay. I should have played another move. Pardon? I should have played another move. Well, this is the Potter variation, so Harry Potter would be disappointed. I wonder if there is the <laughs> the um ridiculous bishop takes uh, f f two here. <laughs> Boy, yo, I've never seen it really. Super bad, actually. Uh, oh. I don't even want to try. I'm not doing it. Not not <laughs> not in the game with this much time. I'm going back here. Very good. Bishop um, B6 is the hiding. best move. <laughs> Very good. It's the best move. Okay. Well, in that case, that oh, that's scary. How do I stop that? I don't want to play. I don't want to play the knight yet. I can play the knight here. There's no drawbacks to that now. Why can't I draw lines in this? My lines aren't, it's not letting me draw lines. Can we draw a alt or shift? Or oh, both? Right button draws, there it is. Ah, yeah, That's right back. button, just okay, coming. Okay, so that one to protect, uh, oh no, that doesn't even do what I wanted it to do. Never mind. I'm worried about this move and I don't have, a, oh, this, this game goes. I can. Stream snipe you, right? <laughs> yeah, you can, but you're not going to. You're going to be kind to me. I am. Oh, I wonder if this is a move. Then what does he do? <clears throat> he has to protect here. 
or if it blocks my knight. This is a move. I'm just going to lose on time because I have to think about everything because you're too good. <laughs> Don't think about time. Just give me more time. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, 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 how can I, I give you more time? That doesn't work. Oh, yeah. It's the wrong, wrong plan. On Leeches, you can just... Yeah. Yeah. Up time, but... Yeah. I, I can. Time for me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. There. That's that's all fine, right? I'm happy. I'm happy if that happens, but if that's not what he would play, if he goes, I'll oh, fuck it. Let's just. I can't think about it too much. I'm just going here. <laughs> Ooh, will I? Will I see? Will I see the threat? I, I. It's not about whether you see the threat. It's what. What do you do? How do you deal with the threat? <laughs> how do you, how I deal with? The... Okay, the threat yeah. is queen takes f two, obviously. Um, bishop e three is not good because then you can take. Um, Queen E2 blocks my bishop, so I think I'm going for the aggressive ah, F4. That's, that's the one I was afraid of. Now what do I do? I've been thwarted. <laughs> Checkmate did not work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you almost did it. Okay. Now that's a threat. That's a big threat now. So I need to go here. Is e5 a threat? Pardon? No. Do I threat e5? No. <laughs> Why not? Um, I've got many reasons for it. And the one is knight takes e5. Boom. Yeah, very good. On a spin, so... Ah, you meant knight d5 was the threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'll, I'll just... Um, yeah, keep on developing, I think. Hmm... Ooh, I like it. Your tactics are doing things to my brain. I never thought they'd have done them before. Does it? Is it even good though? Where am I going? Ah, that's where I'm going. Nice. Um. Okay. If I can just go to E2. No! I want to I go here. You're not letting me. <laughs> G4? Yeah. <laughs> and I, my, my queen was also... Ah, your queen's there. Never mind. That's because my D4 pawn, my, my D7 pawn was already in, on D6 in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Always when there's a knight on, on E5 um, and then two squares behind it, there's the bishop on e2. It controls entire forward route of the knight. You see, c4, d3, f3, g4. Mm, so that's yes. dominating a knight. Yeah. So if I see a knight on e5, okay, I want to have a bishop on e2. Uh. <clears throat> now, is this no longer a threat? That's my question. Here, let's say takes, here, 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 here. So I would need to somehow continue this. If I go here, here. No, that's still there. No, it's not. That's fine. So you'd open here. Fuck, I can't. I've, it's too many arrows. It's, my brain hurts. <laughs> uh, I can't even play that move. Fuck. Okay, so it's not it's not a thing. I can't continue. All right, so we need to. But move why, why, can't you, why can't you play d six? 
D6. Yeah, for example, or castle? Why? If I take your knight, then what happens? Well, I would try and put you in checkmate, but it looks like you're escaping. I don't think I have a follow-up. Because I go, D, I go F, F2, then D2, mm -hmm. then Bishop mm -hmm. E3. Cause I have... Ah, yeah, but then you put your queen out of the... Yeah, yeah. Because if I keep on... The action, I, I feel like this is perpetual then, because I have to keep going back and forth. I can get a draw out of you. Yeah, exactly. So I cannot take, because I don't want to draw against oh, you. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to draw. I see. No. Ah, good. Maybe good, good in, to know. Maybe now I'm not in chess. <laughs> <laughs> good to know. Okay, well, in that case... <laughs> I'm going to play this move. <laughs> no! I don't want you to play that one. Where's my bishop go now? He likes bishops. I like he likes bishops and my bishop is dead. <laughs> my bishop has no escape squares. However, maybe this works now. Did I miss Boom. something? But no, no, there's a big fat bishop that's here. It's very, very <laughs> sad. It's a very sad bishop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can't, can't follow it. Thank you for the seconds. I need all of them. No problem. <laughs> uh, all right. Looks like you win the bishop. I'm not happy about it. Which means I need to save my knight. Which means I can yep. go somewhere with my knight. Here. Hitting this. And takes. Ooh. Takes. Well, I'm only seeing now that we're playing rated, so. Are we not playing? Sure. We're not playing rated, are we? I think so. Uh, Aww. <laughs> nine points. <laughs> um, if I win, I win 19 points. If I, oh, draw is minus 71 for me. Jesus, I should have gone for it. I did go for it. <laughs> you did go for it, but I didn't let you. If I lose, it's minus 160. Damn. Yeah. Nah, it just doesn't work. I'm going here anyways. Yeah, good move. Now, question is, do I have to take immediately or not? Here? Does that threaten enough? No. Can I go here? No. Okay, so what do I take the knight with? Do I want to open this up or open this up? Take towards the center is what I know. <laughs> yep, very good. Very good. Activate your rook. And if you have uh, kept um, captured with the C pawn, then the D pawn is isolated on an open file. And then I would have had a weakness to play on. But now it's it, you keep a solid structure. Your rook is activated. But I have my beloved bishops. So that's a win for me. Nah, you're defending this. It's all over. It's not <laughs> what I wanted to see. Okay. What Am I is... castled? Get out of here with your castle. Everything's defended. This isn't what I... Actually, that's that's weak. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe I should just castle. I don't... Yeah. I think I'm just going to castle. That knight on um, b3 is good. Much better than the one <laughs> that on the c, c file. Oh, I would rather have my knight on c3, because then I could jump to b5 mm -hmm. and attack your weak d7 pawn. Because on b3, it's not doing anything. It's dominated by the pawn on b6. Because yeah. the pawn works basically the same as a bishop. Two squares in front, two squares in between, I mean. And then I cannot go to c5, I cannot go to a5. So, yeah, always when there's... I could, for example, dominate your knight on g6 by playing g3. But that doesn't do anything. And besides, I open up h3 for your bishop. 
Yeah. So it's unnecessary making weakness. But I want to develop this bishop on c1. I needed to go to e3. But then maybe you can take on b2. Um, I can play bishop d4, have a nice bishop, and your queen should go to a3. But I feel like it's not really worth it. So I can just play c3. There's not much okay. that black can do immediately. Just a calm game developing. Um, yep. It's an ugly square. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm not even thinking about it. Very good. A pin, you made you. Oh, your knight on g6 is hanging. See that? g6 hanging. If I take on f5, take on e3, and then knight on g6 is hanging. No, it's not. You see nothing. Oh, I see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> um... Okay, but if I don't take, if I move my bishop, because I wanted to not take your knight on g6, because then then it's kind of game over. But if I move my bishop, then you take on e4, and I didn't see that one. Ah, see, takes, 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 and then what do I do? Do I have compensation? Maybe. Maybe, or maybe not. Smack. We'll find out soon enough. Here. <clears throat> this is why tactics are bad. They make me do dumb things. <laughs> oh, but you saw a bit, but yeah, it just, just the I didn't. Was I didn't look. Me. I didn't look enough through it. It's... <laughs> that pawn is so strong now. I think I just have to. I, I like. I like what's happening. Uh, maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I mean, I've got an attack, which I, I like attacks. Good to know. I like attacking chess. Being being not not attacking is not fun. Oh, oh, that blunders the piece in one. Jeez. Mm, I'll just defend <laughs> and enjoy my nice little knight on b3. I'm going for you. I've had enough of this game. <laughs> I'm running out of time. I've got, I've, how many 15 seconds have you given me? One, uh, too many already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's that's. I can't do maths, so that's at least four minutes extra. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good move right there with the queen. Very good. Because like, like attacking takes, and defending at the same time. Yeah. And I can't. I can't hit this anymore. But I can defend this piece at the very least and keep my attack going. Now I can play here. No! Leave me alone! No, that's not what I oh. do. No, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm almost dead. I can't even take this now because then I just lose. What to do, what to do. I think resign button is a good good button here. <laughs> it's too I like it, I like it. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are only attacking with two pieces and I and I'm defending with bishop and knight, uh bishop queen. Yeah. Rook is kinda of defending defending. Well, I mean I had nothing else. <laughs> oh, I wonder about this move actually. Here. 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 It doesn't work. Well, GG. I'm fairly sure G -G. there's nothing here. <laughs> Feels bad. All right, thanks. I, made a, what? I only made a mistake. I didn't even. I didn't even make a blunder. How bad was it? Oh, nice. 
Oh no. Oh, it's only plus plus four point eight. Plus five. Mm. It's only plus five at this point. Only plus five. <laughs> Played knight c6 instead of knight f5. It's kind of equalish. Wait, where were we here? Oh you're, oh, you're up a little bit. A little bit. Oh, it's actually kind of still close. Yeah, that, that's because I have bishop and I have the, the, the yeah extended center with e4 and f4, and I have bishops. So I would say this is around, uh, oh. well, see, I was looking chip, at 0.4 or 5, something was, like that. Yeah, I was looking at h4 in this position but I, then i saw this move and i was like that looks too good to be true and it wasn't good exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay hey, thanks for the game thank you and... for the, thanks for the, yeah. the coaching i i've never had chess coaching before like i played chess through school and i was um i, I don't think uh i had a well there was nobody who was quite good enough to teach there was like a couple of people who could play in my school, like it, and there will probably be like a thousand rated at that point. Uh -huh. And, uh, and we just played a bunch together and then I sort of was the best in my school and that was pretty shit. And we went to the, and chess, no, we went yeah, to the chess fun tournament. Anymore, right? Pardon? <laughs> no, no, no. We went, to the, fun anymore, we went to the chess tournament and then the, um, the, the, the other school that was there had a, a proper chess coach. So everyone at their school was like, just like a little bit more solid than me and i just lose random games to blunders and oh yeah they, and they wouldn't <laughs> that's why you gotta train your tactics and yeah. <laughs> think about things longer no that was that was fun yeah longer but okay it's like it was fun it was really fun and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to our r1 training because I, yeah. I can definitely use some of your r1 skills <laughs> yeah well that'll be fun we'll uh We'll tee that up for, for After some holidays. Time when you when you're back home. Yeah, when I'm back home, I will uh, send the games to you. And uh, thanks for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the viewers enjoyed it. And uh, I'm gonna take off now. <laughs> Thank you, Maurice. I'll see you later. So thanks. Bye. All right. Bye. Later.